I, I didn't even pull on the cord. I didn't even pull on the cord yet. Somehow my controller disconnected. Then immediately reconnected itself and then brought up the pause menu so then it worked me back to the start. What? That's one way to kill a run. For sure. Possible, apparently, no, it's not because I've gotten it before. Gonna run. And plenty of times in practice. Manager coming through. Thanks for the help, boy. That's the sign of a good console whenever you have to hold the camera up so that you don't have to look at the lag. You decide to get another version, I suggest Xbox. I don't have a 360 or an original Xbox. So, <laughs> either way, I'd have difficulty. The end. Oh, depression. This is the start. That's acceptable. Probably should invest in getting an original Xbox. Saying that there's plenty of other games where getting that would be definitely beneficial. game is on point. Yeah, like there's some games that don't get supported by 360, plus I don't really care about 360 games anyway. So this is free.
Cartwheel Creek is so free. Let's not fuck this up again. Cause like this, this is not a difficult thing to do. It's just a couple of glitchy jumps in a row. This means I should go middle. Yeah. I'm so used to hit and run where hitting a street lamp destroys it instead of makes two points off.
it's a JP version of Hitler on an Xbox and changing the console language on NTSC or how makes it Japanese. Interesting. I mean, this is fine. So I don't think this is gonna go old. Well, actually, if I get first try steamed skip or whatever, bash this from steamed, it probably will go old. So not how you do it. That's really not how you do it. Okay, there we go. Probably not gonna save time now because my setup for flash boosts is terrible apparently. Still a goal. Yeah, th this is fine. Right. Now, please, controller, do not unplug yourself during Rub a Dub again. Because that would make me salty. Or than I already am running this game.
wonder is it possible to jump over those? Well, I can't remember about the jump this time. Go me. I'm very surprised I made that. That would have been annoying if I hadn't made the jump. And then miss the really easy jump that follows it. Jump saves about 16 seconds or something. Right, potential for a really big gold here now. Like, as long as I don't die. messing up the easy part. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna try again. Hit whenever my camera gets stuck behind me, because then I can't judge where the end of the slide is. Sorry, but what? <laughs> right, nearly there. So I have some time save here if I just don't suck at the game. And then I have pretty big amount of time saving frogfish as well. I don't think there was a single split last time where I didn't have time save. I swear the hitbox on that one bit of nitro is just completely empty. So all the other ones I can get fine from the side, but that one, no. You have to go like right through dead center to be able to get it.
Excuse me? Come off of it. I'm fairly sure there's meant to be an invisible wall there. And I really did not know that that would put me right at the start of the level. Like what? I guess I'll know for a game not to use my nitro there. So any time save that I had here is now completely gone. There is an invisible wall there, it's just at the complete opposite side for whatever reason. Or completely below. I genuinely did not think that, that would be a thing. Where if you hit, if you go too high on the jump, then you'll miss the invisible wall and just be put right back to the start of the track. I'm not mad at all. Okay, I got it that time. Somehow. Losing time. Lovely. Just what I wanted from the speedy one. Fifty seconds, bullshit. I'm happy enough with that for now. 